a couple hundred thousand people have signed a petition to see the actual birth certificate of Obama because no one's seen it. No one's actually seen it, Ricky. You see, you're no longer, uh, in your own mind, even a reasonable uh, you know, news presenter, Rick. We had hopes for you. We thought someone on CNN might step out from the pack of uh, left-wing shills, but you didn't make it. You didn't make the cut, Rick. And at uh, 3.30 today, you'll be hearing the former attorney, the assistant attorney general of the state of Pennsylvania, legitimate man, Democrat, by the way, big Democrat, liberal Democrat, big liberal Democrat, Philip Berg, who says Obama's not a citizen and no one has seen his birth certificate and it's all a sham. And uh, the reason we're going to do it is because I'm not going to let this story simply die because a flack on CNN says it's over. It's not over. It's just beginning. When CNN discussed comments made by Senator Richard Shelby on when he said, excuse me, he hadn't seen Obama's birth certificate, I got very angry when they held up a piece of paper. Just listen to the soundbite, Philip, and everyone else. Just play the soundbite, guys. you got to be careful with what you say. And let me show you how you easy it be. is to do it. I mean, look at this. Robert, can you shoot this? You want to see the president's uh, birth certificate? Here it is. You know how we got this? One of my producers, Dexter, just went in, Googled it, and got it from the Los Angeles Times. The story's yeah. all over the place when it was out there. You would think, couldn't he do that before you say something that could be construed this way? Attorney General Philip Berg, is that a copy of the birth certificate that the L.A. Times ran? No, it's a copy of a certification of live birth, which the Obama people put on their website in June of 2008, which has been documented by our, our experts to be altered at the bottom. It says if there's any alterations, it's not valid. It's a fraud. It's a phony document, and it's outrageous that they, uh, CNN did that. Uh, there's millions of supporters that we have. This is now my eighth month going forth on this effort. We're going to continue to expose Obama because he is a total fraud. He's a phony. <clears throat> this is the biggest hoax ever contemplated against the United States of America in our history. That's over 230 years. And it, it really is outrageous. Wait, wait. What do you mean he hasn't revealed his, his credentials from Harvard? No one has seen any of his admission papers? No one has seen. He has sealed everything. Nothing. We have seen. What? No, no. A man runs for the presidency and does not have to expose his, his transcripts? Nothing has been exposed. We know nothing about him. What? I don't believe this. It's worse than I think. It's absolutely worse than I ever thought it would be. I thought you had to expose that if you run for office. Uh, not if you're Obama. Have they no shame? Don't they give a darn about reality? No, they should, because it's really the, the start to the undermining of our great nation, and we have to enforce our Constitution, and this is really outrageous what is going Philip, on. Philip, what's in it for you? Let's clear the air. Come on, we're two realists here. What do you want to get out of this? Uh, just the truth. Just the truth. Do you, do you, if, let's say it's exposed. Obama exposes non-citizen. What does Philip Burr gain? Um, just satisfaction that the U.S. Constitution will be followed. And what happens to Obama if it's tur it turns out he's not a citizen? What would happen, actually? Let's say one of your lawsuits gets heard, and they say, okay, the guy is legitimate. There, There is no record of it. We want to see it, and blah, blah, blah. And it turns out he's not a citizen in the U.S. What would actually happen a year, for, a year down the line? Well, he should be removed from office, and all the legislation that he signed during this past during that period of time is really invalid. And actually, <laughs> um, Obama, his wife Michelle, Howard Dean, and others should all be subjected to the criminal justice system and tried. And if convicted, should go to jail. And actually, that would be that would be quite an un, un, unprecedented uh, situation. I don't think that will ever happen, Philip. Don't you think that the power structure would go all the, all the way through the Supreme Court and prevent this from happening? Well, that could be his plea bargain deal, but actually, if I am true, if it's true what I'm alleging now, that he's not even, that he's an illegal alien, and not only not able to be president, but not able to be U.S. senator for the past three years, he should actually be arrested and deported. I mean, the, the world community knows that he was born in Kenya. The world community knows he's a phony. Okay? This is the biggest hoax ever contemplated against the United States of America, and it's going to cost us plenty. We're in a constitutional crisis. Do you think we're in a financial dilemma? We're in a worse dilemma here because of this president. This is very frightening, Philip. You know, I had you on because only I, I was going to let it go, saying ah, it's all conspiracy nonsense. The guys maybe believe it, but it's too late to care about it. Really, that was my opinion. I think they're barking up the wrong tree. But when I saw CNN holding up an L.A. Times picture of a birth certificate, I said, you know what? I, I'm not going to take this as truth. This is garbage. 
Obama was not born. They keep saying he was born in Hawaii. He was not. He was born in Kenya. After the November 4th elections, they had a day, they took a national holiday to honor that Obama was born there. I mean, the Wait, how, how do you know that to be? Does he acknowledge that in his own book? Uh, no, well, his book was written before that, but it was it was on the news. I mean, and the the uh, ambassador to so uh, he was actually not born in America. He was born in Africa. Yes, he was born. That, that's in a, that's a given fact that is acknowledged even by your detractors. Uh, no, of course they go back to that document which you saw by, uh, held up by the L.A. Times. That fraudulent document. That's the only document they've produced. And it's a fraudulent document. If he was born in Hawaii, why hasn't he produced uh, his vault copy of his birth certificate, which would have shown where he was born with the doctor's signature and the hospital name? How come no one at these hospitals in Hawaii have come forth and said, we were there on the delivery date, you know, and, and we want some recognition because they would have. have you been, wait, have you been on the Leprechaun show with this, with this topic, Mr. No, Berg? No, people have written in, told him to have me on. He won't have me on. Oh, no, the leprechaun won't go into certain areas. I know that. Like, he's for gay marriage. Uh, he says there's global warming. I, I don't know what. And then thing. So he does everything liberal, and he occasionally throws out a conservative bomb, and everyone falls for the malarkey. But, look, he's not the issue. The issue is the president of the United States. You're saying he's a fraud. He's not a citizen. This is serious stuff. Now, even if this doesn't take fire in the courts, Mr. Berg, this is going to percolate for years now. It's not going to end unless Obama ends it by getting up there and putting it to rest. Why doesn't he end it in a second? Because he wasn't born in the United States. He was born in Kenya. And if he shows he was born in Kenya, then he would only be a naturalized citizen, could not be president. When the truth comes out, every law he signs will be um, in, uh, wrong. It's, it, they're all illegal. And I believe he's being blackmailed already. And wait till the international... Now you keep saying blackmail. What do you mean by that? Well, I think the powers that be in this country um, know that he, um, know that Berg, myself, is right, that he was born in Kenya. The world knows he was born in Kenya. And I think people said to him, do you want to be president? Then, you know, you're the uh, candidate for change, but you're going to have to put in these people in our cabinet. And the, the cabinet is not a candidate for change. You know, his mm -hmm. policies aren't candidate or, or change. I mean, he's talking here, he's talking, but, you know, there's a different person in office now. And wait till Kenya blackmails him. And wait till oh, Iran... Wait, what is the evidence? What is the... Let's start with your allegation that he was born in Kenya, not in Hawaii. Uh, what is the evidence that Obama was born in Kenya? Well, first off, his paternal grandmother, Sarah Obama, and we have her recorded statement in Swahili on our website, states she was in the hospital uh, with his stepbrother and stepsister when Barack Obama was born in Kenya. I mean, I think that's the biggest evidence we have um, that she actually spoke about that. The big thing we have is the fact that Obama has never produced one document. All his documents are under seal. The only document, this has been around for a year and a half, the question of his, uh, whether he's constitutionally qualified or eligible to be president. So significant in June of 2008, on the official Obama website, they put up this document, a certification of live birth, to indicate that he was born in Hawaii. The document has been proven to be a fraud. It's a phony. It's been all... But then uh, who's going to listen to any of this? Philip, the Democrats aren't backing you, obviously. Other, by the way, how did Mr. Shelby come to say what he said the other day? Were you shocked? Um, I, I was shocked. I said, great, we're, we'll have a breakthrough, and then he backtalked a little bit. Um, it's going to happen. It's going to break through because as the Republicans see what's going on in this country, they're going to start saying, hey, we've got to say something about this guy. This is ridiculous. I mean, the Democrats are all going to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think as the Republicans do it, as the L.A. Times brought out because of the lawsuit out in California, as your listeners, the thing that your listeners can do is go to my website, ObamaCrimes.com, read it, and send it on to all of their friends on their address book and their email. If this were, I think, 5, 10, 15 million people know about this right now. We have to raise it to 50 to 75 million. When the general public understands the fact that he won't even show a birth certificate, they're going to be outraged. We're going to turn this around, and your show can help turn it around. People go to... All right, Philip, what's the biggest show you've been on other than my show? What about television? Who has had you on? Uh, just some small stations. No, no, nothing, no major station has touched this.
Glenn Schmeck, Glenn, Glenn Schmeck hasn't had you on? No, no, he and he, I think. No, he's another one. party girl. Yeah, he's another company girl. You see, certain issues, none of these brave conservatives, these brave new conservatives will touch. They're all within the bounds of the Republican Party.